So I just started using this uh, face wash. It's called Creamy Chocolate Latte by uh, Misha. Misha is a Korean brand, as you guys might know. Yeah, I just woke up. I'm in my night clothes. I'm sorry, but uh, I just started using this, and I generally don't use creamy face washes because my skin gets oily. But this one's so good. Uh, I think you can see my skin. It looks so uh, squeaky clean. And it's not drying. I really like this one so far. I'm glad the tube is so big. A friend got it from Korea, and uh, it has milk and I don't know what else because the rest of it is written in a different language. So I just have a casual day today, so I'll be vlogging the whole day um, or probably the whole week. I'll try to include bits and pieces of things so that you guys don't get bored. So I start my day by drinking a lot of water. I drink about uh, four glasses, or at least three glasses. Uh, I got used to this over the years. Initially, I used to drink only a glass and a half, and then I slowly filled it up. So now I drink about a liter in the morning. So this flushes out all the toxins and also helps clear your skin and keeps your skin hydrated and has several advantages, basically, than health-wise. So. Yeah, make sure you drink a lot of water through the day and especially in the morning start with a good amount of water. After this, I usually have uh, either honey and lemon water or um, vegetable juice or coffee. It depends. Sometimes uh, I do two of those things together, like one after the other after small caps. I'm thinking of quickly editing some videos before I step out. I also wanted to shoot a video after I come back, so I have to do things quickly. And yeah, this is an IGTV video, but apart from this, there's another video which I wanted to um, edit. So here are some of the products which I'm using currently. So I'm gonna quickly jump into the shower. This one is uh, Pink Lotus by uh, Body Cupid, and this one is Balinese Mango. And uh, I say it with so much excitement because Balinese Mango has been my favorite lately it is so yum you guys you can see i've used up half the bottle it smells like mango jelly it is so good uh recently i've started using this one this is pink lotus and a lot of you guys have been asking about uh, summer shower just that's the reason i'm talking about this so this one is also like very fresh and nice i really like such ones at the end of the day or mornings because you wake up and you feel a little lazy and you don't feel like getting out of bed and these are like a good uh, jump start to your day you can quickly jump into the shower with one of these fragrances and you'll feel fresh all day so i also got this peach one this is a new bottle uh i usually use the pink one uh that one is patchouli and that smells amazing too and it's perfect for like after gym or evenings and it's super fresh and summer mornings also it is great bath and body works obviously has good ones but they're very expensive so i'll be using this it is Lacme, okay, it's not focusing. <laughs> so it's Lacme CC cream and this is my go-to lately and it also has SPF uh, 30. But still I've used sunscreen, I put Neutrogena sunscreen and that's the one that works best for me but of course there are several others. That's what works well for me so I always use Neutrogena. So just dot it and I use my hands to blend usually. So I've let it sit for like a couple of seconds. Now I'm using a compact by this uh, company. It's called uh, Butai. I think it's a Thailand brand. I got it from an Instagram store called Charis Enterprises who usually carry a lot of Sivana products. So this one's very mattifying. That's the reason I use this and it's very small and compact. So I throw it in my handbag and it works sort of on par with like MAC uh, powder foundation. I feel that way. Sometimes I do bronzer and blush but today I'm not going to do anything. So for mascara I'm using Essence Lash uh, Princess. This one's really really good. Uh, it gives a false lash effect almost. It gives like a very nice uh, pan effect. Very nice. and you can see that it has a very nice uh, full fan effect this is two coats if you do only one coat then it look a little more natural but still fluttery <laughs> i'm wearing this neck piece uh, i got it from nampali exhibition outside nampali exhibition they sell these for like 100 bucks 
let me just focus better on this so it has multi colors for lipstick i'm gonna wear wet and wild uh, give me mocha this is what i wear a lot when i'm looking for a nude lipstick it makes for a very good uh, brownie nude for everyday use for college and office so if you're looking for one then this is something you can try the formula is good it's not very drying and stays decently well i wouldn't say it stays after long meals and all that but stays decently well quite um, you know more than half the day this actually makes for like a good uh, everyday makeup uh, especially in summer and you can even skip the bb cream or cc cream and just directly do powder foundation or compact and you would feel nice through the day and you won't feel like it's going to grease up so anyway you can see that the compact is actually quite nice it keeps you matte for quite a bit so now i'll head out i am meeting my friends for lunch and then we have some other things that we want to do So there's this return gift place where we get uh, bamboo straw, return gifts, handmade ones and boxes and all that. So I've shown one of these in my stories. So we went there after lunch. I totally forgot to film the lunch part of it because uh, <laughs> uh, I got so engrossed in the food and conversation that I completely forgot to vlog. So anyway, we went uh, to this place. Uh, as you can see, they have a lot of beautiful collection. These are something that you can do for return gifts when party favors, when you're throwing a party. Uh, uh, like a function indian function like uh, smaller events and you can even do these for like gift baskets even have some gift boxes which have like ikat and kalamkari on top these actually start from about 150 200 uh, most of these baskets i'm i'm talking about the starting price range and they go up uh, depending on the size of the baskets and the design they also have some ikat material laptop bags which are around 450 or so and they have these nice uh, basket bags which you can actually use on trips and they will look nice on maxi dresses they have a lot of variety of things so you can check out this place if you're looking for uh, return gifts or generally you want to see some eco friendly baskets and bags so this is uh, close to sr nagar it's in balkam page so i'll leave the location uh, in description box i'll leave their contact number as well in case you would like to check it out so a lot of you guys had been asking about this i wanted to show you what i got also i've inserted clips as to what you can find there so So this is what I got. It has this flowers here, uh, and there's nothing inside. But you can actually put your money purse and other things also. But uh, I mostly got it for like uh, vacations where you just want to put your towel and basic necessities. So the back of it is plain, and the front has these. Uh, I'm not really sure if I'm gonna keep these or maybe I will use it in different ways. I have like a, a mirror pom pom uh, kind of a hanging, which is actually for dresses. You would have seen that in my Amir page. Uh, street shopping video, so I want to hang that here. I thought I think it'll look really boho and uh, you know the kind of thing which I would like. But yeah, this one uh, they quoted seven hundred and I got it for six hundred. I've asked for five hundred and I still think it's a decent price because I've been eyeing something like this from a long time, uh, both on Zara and even on uh, Shein. Even on Shein, it is uh, pricey. I put it in my cart a couple of times and never went ahead and purchased it. So I am pretty okay with the price of six hundred, although I. I would still be really happy if it was like under 500 and i also got these two uh, clutches uh, this one has nice ikat print and this one is available in a lighter shade too but i thought that one will get uh, spoiled easily so this is what it looks like inside it has a small compartment it will look really good on like kurtas basic kurtas and this one is such a beautiful color uh, has kalamkari here and i really like bright uh, colors for indian wear so i think i'm either going to give uh, one of these to my mom or probably keep it for any gifting purpose so whenever i have occasions i uh, don't buy it in the moment because i would never find the right gift so whenever i see something really nice i will buy ahead and keep them that's what i usually do so this was the actual basket which was uh, what i posted on instagram uh, stories so this is a, a return gift basket which was given for some indian function let's say we have a lot of functions right people have delhi kuturu function mehndi function we have a lot of functions right so for some function this was a return gift and the basket is really wide and nice so i put all my sheet masks and other face masks here so I think that will make for a good use at the moment and uh, it's eco-friendly too. So otherwise I plan to use it as a 
basket bag. <laughs> Again, I think it would look nice on like maxi dresses. Name of the place is Jupiter Gifts and Crafts. It's in uh, Palkampe near Yalamma Temple. And this uh, just says natural fiber store. So I will leave the address. And apart from that, I just received this invitation from uh, Inaya exhibition. It has some goodies as well. I just want to show you guys. I already posted this on Instagram. But uh, yeah, this is the invitation. It is an exhibition which is on 3rd March. But I'll probably upload this video on a Monday. So the exhibition would be over. But follow me on Instagram for such updates. And uh, also currently there's a giveaway going on on my Instagram by the way. So do have a look. I have uh, this scarf. Uh, it is by House of Kimar. And... Uh, it has uh, stoles, head caps and others. I'll leave their Instagram handle in the description. I really like it that these girls <laughs> do a good job. They put together like a lot of uh, stalls with really beautiful clothes and accessories and makeup and all that. And all of these are women. Even the organizers are women. This one is by Lupzi Henna and she is a henna artist. I've seen her designs on Instagram. They're really, really nice. I'll link her page as well. And for the last thing, we have uh, brownies from uh, Baker's Mafia. And they're really good. Actually, there were a bunch of them, which uh, I have only few. I'll just show you guys. They're very crumbly and they're like cookie-like and they taste really good. You can even heat them up but I was eating them uh, uh, dry like this or uh, cold like this and they're really good. So this is Stepping Out Night Bazaar at Taj Krishna. So I went for that one as well and include some clips here. And uh, I just took few snaps here and there. It was super hot so I did not go around much. But they did have a lot of different stores and there was one particular home decor and return gift store which was really nice and very very affordable they have really good things i'll link their instagram in the description box i got a trunk from them and it's super cute rest of them mostly seemed a little bit expensive i would definitely say that this is the trunk it looks really cute it's in pink and they had a bunch of colors and different sizes this one is a metal trunk but they had the other leather sort of looking ones too i'll give you guys a closer look so here we go. You can use it for jewelry or makeup, small trinkets and treasures of yours. I have a blue one already so I want to put this on that and it looks really nice. So I'll leave their link as well. It's called Artistry. I really like this stall. Uh, my friend got some jute bags which are for return gifts and they were all very affordably priced. So that is it. I'll end the vlog here, I think. <laughs> so I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope you found the vlog fun and informative. And I'll leave my Instagram handle here in case you would like to follow me there as well for updates. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs>